Hello my YouTube lovelies and how are you? So today's video, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a review on the Colored Rain Very Cute Palette. Um, Colored Rain released four limited edition palettes, um, these little small size ones. Um, this was the one that I decided to go with and I created this look using it. And if you want to know my thoughts on this palette, then I beseech you to keep on watching. Okay, so this is the Berry Q palette. Um, this is the palette that I decided to purchase. This is my first Colored Rain purchase. I've never purchased anything from this brand. I've heard so much about this brand. I know they came out with a lot of uh, lip products, lip matte lipsticks, regular lipsticks. I know they have highlighters and they also have eyeshadows. And I know their first um, eyeshadow palette was called Queen of Hearts. And you know, I I was very intrigued by that, but for whatever reason, I never purchased it. And I heard so many people rave about that palette. Well, this is my favorite palette, da 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 da. But yet, I was like, meh, no. Tara, Tara Babes, um, Babies, she raved about it. Vintage Attacky. Um, a few of my friends on social media, a few of my makeup friends that I follow on social media, they rave about it. And a lot of uh, makeup bloggers also rave about that palette. So honestly, I might have to check that palette out. But the whole purpose of this video is to talk about this palette. Um, again, you know, they released for limited edition. I believe they are limited edition uh, smaller palettes. And I use this as an opportunity to um, try out their eyeshadows. Again, I know they have the, the Queen of Hearts palette and they also have single eyeshadows and I don't have any of those. But when I saw these, I said, okay, well, let me purchase purchase one. So when it was time to pre-order, I pre-ordered this one. And yeah, for ordering it, I got a free set of matte lip paint. Um, I have not used it yet. And this is called Satin Cream, so I'm actually looking forward to using it. So this is actually my first Colored Rain lip product, and this is my first Colored Rain eyeshadow product. Now, again, I don't know if I mentioned, I found out that this was a black-owned makeup brand. And you guys know, that really, well, I know some it doesn't matter, but for me, being a woman of color, you know, it's a great thing because, you know, I want to support black owned makeup brands because I know a lot of them try to um, create products specifically for us because a lot of the makeup brands, they forget about us sometimes. And, you know, and it's also good to see women of color, you know, stepping up in the beauty community. So y'all know I love me some Juvia's Place. And Juvia's Place is a black owned makeup brand. So I said, let me get on the bandwagon and try out Colored Rain. Um, now this palette and the other palettes, they're $36 each, which is a little pricey um, for six eyeshadows. There's six eyeshadows in each palette. That is a little steep <laughs> for six eyeshadows. Um, I know a lot of people were like, I know I'm not getting it because $36 and blah, blah, blah. And then not to mention, when you compare it to Juvia's Place as opposed to this, the price is synonymous and with Juvia's Place you get more products. So, yeah. But nonetheless, I went ahead and purchased it and honestly, I'm glad I did because I really, really, really love this palette. Now, this is the look that I created today using this very cute palette. These are the eyeshadows in this palette. Um, this It comes with a small mirror. But these are the six eyeshadows that come in the palette. There's Pinkleberry. There's Purpleberry. There's Platinumberry. There's Kissberry. Palmberry. And Loveberry. All right, Berry. <laughs> so I used Purpleberry 
palm berry and you know palm berry is obviously the star of the show platinum berry which i used on my lower lash line which i love and love berry so i took purple well i actually first the thing about this they don't have any transition shades or highlight shades so you are gonna have to use um other shadows in conjunction with this you know as far as for like transition shades and so forth so i just took my Lorac pro matte palette and i used latte and corduroy from a transition shade and i used bare from a highlight shade so that's just something you want to keep in mind you're gonna have to use um other shadows in conjunction with this for transition shades you don't have to but i did <laughs> Um, and then what I did was I took purple berry and I put it in my crease and kind of put it on my outer V. wasn't dark enough. So then I took love berry and I kind of took it and tried to blend it in, blend it through. Still for me, didn't give me what I wanted. So what I had to do was I had to grab my Old Faithful, and this is Makeup Forever is number 92. You guys know this is like the purple of all purples. This no longer exists because since Makeup Forever has redone their shadows, they no, this no longer exists. I'm sure you can find a purple, I don't know, I, I, I don't think there's a purple like this. I don't. I don't care how how good Makeup Forever's new shadows is. Y'all know I love Makeup Forever shadows. But I just don't think there's anything that could have ever replaced that color. But I took it and I smoked out my crease because I wanted that dark purple contrast against the palm berry color. And the other colors obviously were not giving me that. So I had to reach for that. And then I took the platinum berry. Well, I took my NARS. Velvet Shadow Stick Pencil, and I don't know how to pronounce this. this is Ray. I don't know where they come up with his name. Um, I'll put everything that I used in the down bar below. But this is like a charcoal gray, and I love this shadow stick from NARS. And then I just put Platinum Berry on top of it. And when I tell you, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. And then for my inner corner highlight, inner tear duct highlight, I use this NARS eyeshadow in Antares. This is dual intensity. This is probably my new favorite inner tear duct highlight. I normally use the Make It Forever Star Powder. I don't know the number. Or I'll use this color from Sugar Pill. And then there are some colors from Juvia's Place that serve as good inner tear duct highlights. But this one... I think she's won me over. This is like, um, this is like, uh, what's it called? That highlight from NARS that everybody, um, has. It's like this in an eyeshadow form. So this is very, 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 very pretty. And I love it. And it just gives me that little pop that I need to make my eyes stand out. But Getting back to this palette, I'm so in love, especially with this purple. Y'all know purple is my favorite color. Like, let me just swatch it. Like, oh my God, can we can we talk about it for a minute? Can we just talk about it for a minute? Look at that. Really? Really? Get your life. Like, this is so pretty. And y'all, it's, oh, I, I just, I could go on. This is Platinum Berry. Look at how nice. That is, oh my God, how nice that is. And this is Pinkleberry. Let's do the Pinkleberry. Look at that. It's so pretty. Just look at that. Look at that. So pretty. And they're so soft to the touch. Like, they blend very, very, very easily. And I'm honestly, honestly, I didn't swatch the matte colors, but they're, they're, they're very good. They blend, they're not chalky. I love this palette. I really do love this palette and I am going to go on the website and kind of look and look at some of the single um, shadows that they have. And I may even possibly order the Queen of Hearts palette because yeah. I love it. 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 This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
And yeah, would I encourage you guys to try these out if you're not familiar with coloring? Absolutely. It is a little bit pricey for the size, but I would say it's worth the money. The shadows are great. The pigmentation is great. You can't go wrong. Um, yeah, so what I say is women of color friendly. Look at my eyes. Yes, it is very women of color friendly. I love this palette very much. And I definitely would recommend you guys going out purchasing one or, you know, the Queen of Hearts palette purchasing that because I'm definitely going to go get that. If you guys have bought this or if you guys have the Queen of Hearts palettes in any of their shadows, I really would like to know. And I would like for you guys to leave me a comment below letting me know how much you love the brand and their shadows because I am very intrigued. Um, so, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this review helpful. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.